Hello guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is briefly introduce Crazy. To me, I think Crazy is a alternative to PowerPoint, and some of you may know Keynotes. And I think it can provide you with a really uh, editing environment. With that said, I mean you can put your items or your thoughts in the way that you want. And then you can come across with a logical sequence or a logical order. And then you can put the items or the thoughts within the logical structure that you just came up with. And then make it a fully functional crazy. And another advantage of Crazy, I think, is it can, it can embed lots of extensions, just like videos and musics, or even other phone points. And also PDFs, and uh, yeah, except I will go through it later. And also, I think another advantage is it can be shared within uh, their uh, IC website within your team. Say, if you are the creator of one pricing and there is a group of people that you want to work with, and then you can share your pricing through their website. And that's the way that you can your, uh, work on one pricing as a team. So that is very convenient compared to you know, some other software. I don't want to and uh, the other advantage of pricing, I think, is very, very easy. It don't require particular particular knowledge about uh, how to do coding or even some basic knowledge. It doesn't require any of it. Basically, based on its very interactive interface, and you can you know just do everything you want with it. Uh, so just don't be afraid. It's very easy, and you can very quickly get your hands on it. And next, I will show you three examples. So the first example is this. So you might have a question like, hey Evan, are you crazy? This is obviously a foreign point. It's not crazy, right? So if you have this question, then congratulations, you are not going to fall asleep. So this is indeed a uh, foreign point slide. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, and its structure is very clear, and it's very easy to edit. So this point, point is basically done by a uh, business communication class long ago. So their assignments is similar like yours, like doing a research assignments, research briefing. As you can see on the first page, there goes their title, subtitle, subtitle, and their, mm, I would say a conclusion, and then their group number, their member's name, and then it goes their first uh, point, like intimacy. And then it goes the second point, interior activity. And then the third, inclusion. And then the fourth, intentionality. So I would say this structure is very clear and it's very easy. It didn't create any confusion. But it looks uh, just a little bit boring, I think. So now I'm going to show you how I modify this uh, arm point into a crisis. So this is what I did with the first slide of the arm point. So as you can see, I have all the same elements of the uh, arm point, but the difference is I use a character background to make the, their conclusion more bold. And I also use different fonts to emphasize their group member and member uh, and name of the member. And I also use this small building block to bring your interest of this topic. So as for this, this small building block is not completely uh, useless. You can replace this one with your team logo or you can put some other pictures in it. So there goes our second slide. This slide I shows the basic all the structure of the presentation I'm going to tell you. So as you can see, this structure was built by uh, tiny little building blocks. Great, thank you. The better. <laughs> yes, way better. Okay. 
uh, yes, so this structure was built by a small building blocks like I showed in the first slide. So it kind of gives you a feeling that one point, two point, three points, four points, these four points as the basic of our whole structure. And you can even add more points like here, and here, and here, and even here to show the basic thoughts of your logical process. Like you are putting uh, some of the points together to support your final conclusion. And then it goes to our first slide. As you may remember, the first topic is intimacy. But in the original form point slides, it's, uh, it's shown in a gray color. So by emphasizing it, I uh, make it uh, a different background and I make it different color. I hope in this way you can definitely know the topic we're going to talk in this slide. And here comes the second slide. I add a small picture. Here comes my advice of when you have the chance of using a picture, just use it. Why? Because I think picture contains more information. And it is easier to read compared to this you know, text. And here comes the third slide. I use a large picture and try to draw your attention onto it. And it shows kind of inclusion, which is the topic of this slide. And then we can zoom into the top one we're going to go through for this slide. And then it comes to the first slide. The fourth one is a little bit hard because it talks about intentional intentionality. I cannot pronounce it. So, but uh, it is fairly hard to find a picture of intentionality. And then I try to go through the structure of this uh, slide, so I'm finding it kind of go, uh, shift through the old structure, like the reactive, to the new structure of clear agenda. So I pick a picture of agenda to kind of show you the creating strategy, which is the topic of this slide in this phrase. And then it goes to our final conclusion slide. As you may recall, one of the rules of making a slide is you cannot put so much text into one slide, right? It's too boring and it's not easy for the audience to read. So, but when you come across this situation, like this is our final slide, and this is the only slide that we can put our conclusion in it. So you definitely need to put text in it. But I think if this, this, and this, and this are all black, the audience will definitely find it is very hard to uh, to uh, pick out what you are going to say in this slide, so I make it colorful. So in the worst case, if the audience don't have the intentionality or don't have the patience to read through your whole conclusion, they can at least read the colorful character which is the whole point of your presentation. And then it goes to the final slides of thank you for listening. I just think I will make this one all at the whole. So by doing this, I hope you can get an uh, easy impression of how Prizy works, like the zoom in, zoom out, and the color scheme of a typical Prizy. And uh, Compared to this one, I think it's a little bit easier for uh, the audience to read. And then I'm going to show you two other uh, templates. The first one is this one. So this one is obviously a business plan template, which you can use in your final project. This is the first slide. You can put your title here and then subtitle. And then it goes to a businessman, like drawing some form here. And then you can insert a pie chart here. And then you can you may, uh, put some tasks you have finished here and try to zoom into that. And then it comes to all kinds of figures. So like I just talked about a little earlier, in Prezi, you are free to put every figures you want in everywhere. 
and then you can come across a logical sequence, like what you are going to do with these figures. So just like this, I want to you know, bring off my business idea in this figure. So, and then I want to show how my plan is going to work. And then I can show my ideas or even a joke. And I just met you and this is crazy, but here is my number, so invest in me, maybe. And then here you can show how your plan works step by step. Step one, two, three, and then keep on going. And here you might show a profit chart of your business plan. And then you've done it. This is all the figures of this project. And here, I put them together. And you just uh, can drag and drop the figures where you want them to be. Okay, so don't worry, I will share this template with you all up here. And uh, here goes the second business plan template. Here is your logo. And then your group members information. And then you can, you know, introduce your product or your service. Or you can even introduce your product by a video, which is embedded in the present. At Parisi, we try to, to change the way people share ideas. I think we're a group of people. I'm not going to show you the whole video, but you get ideas. So for now, you can get to the detail of your project, like uh, your unit cost, and your project date, or your key figures, and then your market size. I think this is way more bigger than our business plan. So you might change this mic into a Richardson mic. So here you can explain your strategy further and further and further. And then we may talk about some business completion of your business plan and financial forecast and also financial needs. And here goes the last one, your business address and contact information. Yeah, here is the whole idea of the business plan pricing templates. I uh, hope you find it cool. I will share you uh, share with you uh, these two templates. Okay, so I guess you're getting boring now. So let's start our own pricing account. So for the pricing account, please open your browser. I'm trying to type in this location. Okay, let's go to pricing. Everybody follows? Okay. Uh, obviously, we don't want to pay, so we choose students and teachers, like educational plans. Aren't you glad you're a student? <laughs> Yeah. Get a free account. And as you can see here, we can choose the this first one. Everyone falls. Okay. So just type in your uh, new email address and click verify. Okay, so please go to your uh, uh, email, uh, email account and check your junk email to find a verification sent by Crazy. Anybody, anybody having any questions for now? No?
here, this one is pricey. It doesn't matter. For purposes of this, it's whatever name you want is okay. Everybody get into this in the face? Yes, no? Mm -hmm. And let's wait for those who need it. search bar, which you can search the title of the prize you want to, you know, modify. Like I want business plan prizes. And then, you see this checkpoint? If I want to use some prize that is created by someone else, and I want to modify it on their prize, you need to check this on. So this will show reusable prize only. By reusable, they mean their pricing can be modified by you. If you didn't check this, the result will contain other ones pricing, but you cannot modify on them, which means you cannot use them as a template. I'm not going to, de uh, going to do a real search, but you can find out sometime later. So for this, stop, stop picks. These ones are really, really well-designed prices. I strongly recommend you to go through them. It's not very long, and they will update these prices monthly or weekly. And you can kind of get the ideas of how these people do their prices. It's very high level. And here, popular. Basically the same ideas, but these ones are uh, easier than the stuff fixed. Please remember these prices are not reusable, so you cannot edit um, like this one or this one. You can just go through the idea of their pricing. Okay, let's go back to my prices, and then we're going to create a new price. So here, as you can see, we have lots of templates. So if we hit more, it will give me more templates. So on the latest templates, they will update some templates 
Mm. Modernly, maybe these templates are older templates, but it's al already usable. So for the tutorial, I'm going to choose this one, Subway. You, you can choose any templates you want. I just think this one is easy. So uh, once we choose the templates, just grab these templates. Everybody get into this. So this is one I'm zooming in the uh, work hand of our pricing. So 95% of our editing is done within this area. This area. This area. Okay. And uh, we can move this area by drag, left, right, up. Down, and we can zoom in this area. We can zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah. And we can also zoom out here. So, you kind of get the idea is the prices transaction is zoom in and zoom out. So for my templates, I want this one title to be shown in the first place. So I, I'm going to click and do some editing here. Tutorial, and uh, I think figures are very boring, so I want to insert, as you can see here, imagine, image. Simple shapes, YouTube video, charts, layouts, arrow, line, highlighter, uh, music, or on points. So I want to insert a symbol and shapes here. So these 10 groups of symbols are built in symbols within Python. You can use them really. So I want to say use this one. And I want to drag it into the place. And if we want to resize it, we just click here to drag it to become larger or shrink it to become smaller. Or we can also rotate the direction of the picture. Any questions so far? No? Okay. So let's see, we want to uh, this read a picture and tutorial to be shown in the first place. But as you can see in the left hand, these are the paths of our editing process. So the figure, like one, two, three, four, behind each slice are the slide number of that slide. So as you can see, I'm selecting the first slide, but it's not shown the figure uh, the picture and the character it shows the whole structure of my pricing. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to add a frame into it. So frame is the concept of a grass uh, a basket. If you want to show something in a slide you just put that thing into this grass basket. So here I'm going to put a invisible frame here and drag it to this one and I'm going to resize it everybody done that? everybody done that? Finish? okay so as you can see, it's shown in the seventh slide of our whole presentation. I don't want to do that, so let's just grab this slide. As you can see, it can be moved to the first place. So this number indicates the slide number of our present. So if we present, this one will be the first slide shown in our presentation. Everybody got that? Mm 
And then I want to get into some details. Let's go to the first small frame within all the templates. I can do some editing here. Frame one. And here, as you can see, we have three fonts to be chosen. And if we want more fonts, just select here. And as you can see, we can change it to all kinds of fonts that is built in your computer. Okay, let's use this one. And here, as you can see, we can use a background, or we can make it become a full bullet point. We can adjust the align direction. Pretty really straightforward. And say for this frame, I want to insert an image. Just click insert and image. Okay, so this search engine is Google Picture. So let's see uh, if we want to insert this image or we want to search other image like logo. It will give us the image. If we want to use this image, we just drag it to the place where we want it to be. Um, you don't have it from the website? Yeah. See that my uh, the the difference of my account and your account. So, so my account is a paid account. So I pay like five dollars for this account. So it might give me some advanced features. <laughs> but fear not, this is not a problem. Say if you want to insert any picture, just Google it and search it and copy and paste it into your computer and then we can select files. <laughs> yeah, like this one, this one, this one, and insert it. It's not a big problem. So, uh, do you have this editing interface? This one, you want to just randomly insert a picture. Do you have this interface? Okay, that's great. So if you want to resize the picture, say I just want to show the small house here, let's grab image. And then narrow it down. And then after that we just hit enter. It will resize to the small house. And here we have some effects, rings. Yes, just like a simple version of PS. <laughs> just don't try to PS your. Uh, <laughs> own photo in this one. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to the next step. Go to the next frame. And here I want to insert a say, YouTube video. Let's just click YouTube video. And then paste your YouTube link. I already have one here. So I just copy. And paste. And hit insert. Here. So please remember, once you have insert.